are we ready to start or we need to do some <coughs> changes? What do we need to change in here? You need to do the tea towel. Tea towel, <laughs> tea towel. right. Tea with milk or? Right, so tea towel. But before that, do you think this is the right position? No. no. So it needs to be like that, yeah? Good. And uh, I mean, in the winter, it's very, very important to have all the, all the clients really fully. Thank you. Good. So now we're ready. Okay. So the lesson for today is on vibration and oscillation. Sometimes oscillation would be called also rocking because of the movement. And they are, I teach them together because they're very similar. There is some movement that you, you take that are uh, re repetitive continuously. Um, you can do it on top of the towel or you can do it without towel. I'll, I'll start with a technique that we do on top of the towel. So again, I, uh, are you all right? Yeah. I don't want you to think about recipe, but about where we're going to do it in the sequence of massage. There is no sequence. You're just doing it whenever you start feeling that it needs. And of course, you have to try it. You have to have it on yourself to feel the effect so you know when you, you want to do it. Okay, so let's start with vibration. You basically keep contact with a client's, uh, the area that you, you want to do it. I'll do it on the lower back. And then the movement happens quite quickly. <laughs> <laughs> that was a nice, uh, nice response. Yeah. You can do it here. So what do you think the effect would be. Blood circulation. Could be. Is it relaxing? Yeah. Okay. What can it stimulate as well? Blood circulation. Imagine you do like a really nice massage and then like and that's before the end. You want to lightly kind of bring them back yeah. into the yeah, room. Like yeah. So you can be Some kind of, sort of yeah, percussion. like a percussion that you kind of want to get them back into the room, but not in a harsh way. So you can do that. Yeah. Okay. Now, you can't do it for a long time. Yeah, You need to have your... It's kind of uh, one of the techniques that you, you cannot do with the whole body. Although what would help you sometimes is to actually shake your body as well. Yeah, But it, it's not easy. It's not easy and uh, try first to do just with a hand. Yeah. Okay. Now let's take it a bit further and let's apply it into different areas. So you can have your, your, the base of your wrist onto the sacrum and do that. Good. You can do that onto the muscle of the leg. Yeah. Now, you can do it even in a slight different position, like imagine you do it where the muscle is relaxed, and now you don't use your arm, yeah. but you use their limb to do that. Yeah. Or you can do you can do it with arm. This is try that because which group had this muscle? Yes. Remember how the name of this muscle? Gastrocnemius. Yeah. So this is where you can move it a lot easier because the muscle is now relaxed. So you can use the vibration there. Good. <coughs> but um, you can do that also lightly in a different position into the lower back. Now stretching it lightly. It's not a big stretch. Remember this stretch that we did for the lower back? Mm -hmm. You do something similar, but now you use a bit of vibration into it. Yeah? <coughs> what do you think about the head? Mm -hmm. 
which is here. Could be, isn't it? Yeah. Why why the head is different in here? Sorry? <laughs> the brain is there. Yes. <laughs> or something. Yeah. What what could what could, what's the difference? What do we have in the head that makes the movement of the head seems a lot bigger? See the, the eyes? The eyes? The eyes is Ears? Yeah, the sense, and the sense. sense of equilibrium. Yeah. So when you do that, when you move the head, um, you have to be really, really, really safe, careful. Actually. It can make you sick. Because I've, you know, with a little infection, vertigo yeah. could bring yeah. something like that on. So this is this is the vibration. I'll show you now. You can do that um, without towel. You can do that. Imagine me applying oil and do all of that, and you can do that. Is it deep or superficial? Superficial. superficial. It's superficial. So if it has something, do you think it does something for the blood circulation? It should be yeah, sure. Maybe, but maybe local. Yeah. 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 It's nothing to do with like. Yeah, it's not like it's, it's not like an effleurage, yes. So it's quite super, quite local. Yeah. Good. It can relax us then. Does it do something for the deep muscles? No, I don't think so. Okay, not much, isn't it? It might do through the relaxation, but nothing direct into it, right? It's not working on specific areas. It can no. more of a general technique. No. Now, let's take the second uh, technique that, um, <clears throat> and before that, the vibration you can do in every, every area. You can do it on, on bones, like Achilles, yeah? Uh, this technique is always from the beginning of the massage. Case. No. That's what I don't want you to think. It could be anywhere. Could be in the end as well. Could be in the end, yeah. More likely to be not at the beginning, but it can be in the beginning. Yeah? Okay. Now, the second technique is called oscillation or rocking. And it has the same idea, but now the movement is a lot bigger and it has a momentum that in here. The, the vibration has, does not have a momentum, but the rocking has a momentum of like a pendulum. You know, in the clock, when it goes like side to side, or like a swing. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Okay. Now, if I will do that a little bit slower, it, it lost the momentum, do you see? So I need to find the right momentum for the right area. So here, the momentum works this way. In here, the momentum might work differently, depends on the, on the, uh, on the body parts, yeah? On the legs, it might be different. Difference, I mean, the speed of it. You need to kind of, it's like bouncing a, a, a basketball. If you work too deep, quickly, or too slow, it doesn't bounce. So you need to really bounce it. It's the rhythm. And you have to keep the rhythm. If you want, I can put music. So it keeps the rhythm there. Okay? Right. Let's now think what this technique can do for the following area. What? I do now oscillation to this area. Rib cage. Yeah? So if someone's stiff on the rib cage, I can do that. Yeah? Okay? Now, let's do this technique onto the arm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. What do you think that would, the effect would be here now? Just making sure it's very relaxed. Very relaxed, yes. Do you know this client, and this is where rocking technique really works well. Do you know the client that's lying there like that? And you do the massage and you always feel that the massage is just doesn't go in. Yeah. They're very stiff. Well, they forgot. They don't realize that they're, they're, they're doing it. They don't realize it. <laughs> this is where massage can be excellent for education for them. Because they can stiffen themselves as long as they're not moving. But if, the, if you ask them to start moving, their brain starts to suddenly understand 
that they can't relax. And, and they will tell you, I'm very confused. Uh, they try to help you to do it. <laughs> and they, or they fight <laughs> to do that. A lot of really interesting um, development can happen while you do that. You can do that even. Yeah. It's, it's really helping them to understand that they have to be really fully surrounding their weight. And it's not easy. But no, it's, it's hard because you almost feel like you're out of control of yourself. That's the idea. So it's not a question of being tense. You just feel no. like I'm in control of my arm. If I let go completely, they're in control and it feels weird. That's, the essence of relaxation <laughs> is leaving the control. Yeah? It's hard. Uh, lower back. Yeah? Lower back. Be careful not to do it too strong because if you do it too strong, what do you think would happen to the muscles there? <coughs> would tighten. Because this is the protection mechanism that the muscle would do. It's like, wait a minute, I'm not sure that what you're doing is really good for me. And you end up with muscle a lot tighter. So I will be careful with that. On the lower back, usually what I do is really long and nice stretch. Not so much the oscillation. And if anything, very light oscillation. Okay. Um, getting, um, let, me, let me do a few more of this. Uh, you can do that as well in a different approach to uh, do, the, do it with the legs. So you can do the whole body and uh, you can do it uh, um, taking the weight and going backward or taking the weight and going forward. So this would be like now my emphasis is backward and now my emphasis is on forward. Mm. You can do leg to leg. Yeah. It's almost like you're moving your hips sometimes to do that because you're just relaxing. All you do is moving your hip and you can create that. And it's nice to feel tension in all of the sides. Sometimes what you can do is just do one leg. And what you feel is the tension coming from the lower back all the way through the, for the leg. Right. And you're listening to, okay, how much give there is there. So that's something you could do, say after you've done a hole and some effleurage, maybe yeah. you could do that to kind of Absolutely. Like a yeah. okay. body consultation on that. It's exactly <coughs> it. Because it's things that they don't know, and things that a lot of other therapists, when they kind of, okay, from here right away into doing, mm -hmm. you need to listen. You need to feel. Where the area is attention Absolutely. OK, which area are you going to work more? Right, OK. This side, because it feels more tight. Yeah. Maybe it comes from the quadratus lumbarum. When you try to push it, mm. yeah, it can come from that area. Um, let's turn around. Yeah. So at times, you don't need heavy cannons. You don't need a lot of forces to listen to. All you need is just a little bit of movement. And with the movement, it's a lot easier to feel what's going on there. Because when you start doing that, I think it's, 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 um, it's quite superficial. Yeah. Come on, turn around, please, this way. <coughs> Good. Any change I need to do? Move yeah. the pillow down. Yeah, thank you. Okay. So. Okay. Now it's even further. I'll show you one of the best way to use os um, oscillation. <coughs> is um, we haven't done yet the um, the. Um, mobilization, but a lot of the times when I when I do some arm work, uh, people who are very tense, they would kind of help me to do that. So there is a nice way that I let them to be aware of the amount of tension. It's all mind games, really. It's massage, but it's really mind game. You show, you're trying to show them how much tension there is, they acknowledge it, 
this is the first step into improving. So what I'm doing sometimes, I do massage and I kind of leave, you see that she left, Sorry. she dropped the head, but a lot of the very tense people leave, leave it there, mm. leave it there, yes, they would continue. <laughs> yeah. And uh, you, you continue doing other things and suddenly, only at sometimes a minute after, they kind of realize that something is wrong there. <laughs> and they understand that actually they're holding themselves and they haven't realized that. Well, guess what? They're going to do the same thing at the office, when they're working, even when they're hobby. Because they don't, they stop listening to, they leave from the head above, not from the body below. They don't listen to their body anymore. Of course they're going to come with tension and stress and necks and aches, but um, we try and decide that to really re-educate the nervous system to, to listen. Let them listen to their body. You solve a lot of issues here. And uh, sometimes my client would come and say, you know, now I feel the tension. And it's, in a way, it's a good way because they connect again to that area. They're recognizing their own areas of tension, which they may not have yeah. realized before. So oscillation can help a lot because this is exactly what you're saying, Kate, that they need to lose control. Yeah. Yeah? So you can work this way. Very light movement, yes? You can bounce it a little bit, you know? You can do that. It's all kind of oscillation to let them feel what a full relaxation is, yeah? And override their instinct to exactly. help. It's a, it's a wrong instinct, yeah? So doing that, yeah? <coughs> Even take it in a little bit <coughs> more, yeah? If I have a client that is very um, tense even further, then I do um, another technique that is not related to oscillation that would help them to understand what they're doing. When I'm asking them, could you come and hold this hand and don't let me move it, okay? Don't let me move it, okay? Mm -hmm. Breathe in and, yeah, strong, strong. Don't let me move it, yeah, good. Take a breath in and then completely drop it into the table. Yeah. <laughs> it's a <beast>. kind of. <laughs> So what I'm telling them, what I'm telling the brain, okay, you can't understand, relax, relax. Let's, let's exaggerate the tension, then try to relax. Okay, so again, hold switching it, it on to yes, it good, and then breathe in, and then drop it, completely drop it, yeah. So they get some vocabulary of what relaxation and what tension means. Otherwise, sometimes it's very difficult. <laughs> and you have funny scenarios that some clients cannot relax. And people saying, relax, relax, <laughs> relax, <laughs> relax. <laughs> and they feel, and the client saying, I don't know what to relax is. <laughs> I forgot. And the more they try to relax, the more they tense. Mm. Yeah? It doesn't work. You can't just tell them, relax, relax, relax. They, they, they come here because they forgot how to relax. You have to try to teach them what relaxation is. Yeah? So this is about the upper, upper body. Yeah? Lower body, you can do the same thing as what we did. Remember that oscillation, yeah? And here you can check. Do you see her head, how, how the head moves? Yeah. yeah? Check it with other people and see how much free movement they have there. So again, this is kind of a relaxation for them, but for you is actually an assessment, you know, side to side. See now I move, I move the, 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 uh, each leg at a time. So I'm checking really the tension that comes from the ankle all the way to the, up to the lower, uh, lower back, yeah? Uh, another technique you can do here is the rotation. Yeah? You can rotate the leg. You can do the same kind of drop. Yeah? Even just really drop. But be careful that you're kind of holding it so the drop <laughs> itself is soft. Oh, yeah. You don't want to have hit. Because then if they hit themselves and hurt themselves, less trust. Yeah? Okay, I think that's quite a lot, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah? So, um, 
I want to show you another one for the head, for the neck, but it um, needs a bit more skill. So let's start with that, and then we, uh, we do the head late, in head and spine and, and other areas in there. Okay? Cool. Thank you.